Olympus launched a new camera last Tuesday, the EM10 Mark IV. And in that video I made a claim that it could replace my go-to camera, which I use right now, EM5 Mark III. And there's only one reason, the grip. But in this battle video I will look more closely the differences between these two fairly new cameras. Hi there, my name is Peter Forsgaard and I am an Olympus visionary and a professional photographer from Helsinki, Finland. And before we start, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified when there is a new video online. My channel is all about you getting to be a better photographer. And you can also support my video making by getting me, actually it's that side, buy me a coffee. That is much appreciated. But let's start to compare these two cameras. And the first round is look and feel. Both of these cameras look stunning. I really like the design of both of these and I have the silver slash black version. The both cameras come in black too. But the most important thing or more important thing to be exact is the feel. And as I said, out of the box EM10 Mark IV is better in my hand. Even though EM5 Mark III is a bit bigger and I have a fairly big hand, but still the new design on the grip on the new EM10 Mark IV is really great. To get the same grip I need a extra grip for my EM5 Mark III. But out of the box the EM10 Mark IV takes this round. And the second round is usability. And usability is very close to uh, look and feel, especially the feel, because using a camera and if it feels good in your hand is a lot more pleasure to use and that's when it comes to the buttons and dials and I think uh, both of these cameras are really well made on that side. But there's one big difference and you can see it on the mode dial. EM5 Mark III has custom modes. EM10 Mark IV doesn't have any custom modes or my sets which is I think it's a big downside. I think that should be added in the future firmwares. I really hope they do because uh, these cameras have a lot of features and you might have some special feature on and then you start making images and all of a sudden you have all these weird things. Maybe you forgot to turn off the self timer and then you miss a shot. But it, when if you have a custom mode you can always turn it on custom and you know your settings. So usability goes to EM5 Mark III. And then the third round, customizability, which is of course quite close to feel and usability. But it's a bit of a different thing. And both of these cameras can be customized to your likings. But to be honest, EM5 Mark III has a lot more features or, or dials and buttons to be customized. So in that sense, it is a better camera for customizability. I'm glad that both of these cameras have the most important setting for me, and that is to set the exposure compensation on the back dial, because I like to keep my finger on the shutter button and I can still adjust my exposure according to the scene. I can use the flat colors or and histogram, and I can change the exposure compensation from the back wheel. That is a really important thing. But then we have to think that do we need all that customizability? This has, I think, three buttons that can be customized. And is that enough for you? Then this doesn't really care or matter to you. But uh, for me, the EM5 Mark III is better because it has a lot more uh, but buttons and dials that can be customized. So this one goes to EM5 Mark III. And then we have the fourth round features. And this is kind of a tricky one because on everyday shooting when I go out and have fun with my camera and, and you know travels I really don't need that many features. But on the other hand some features are really nice to have. It's really nice to have live composite, uh, multiple exposure, uh, pro capture, panorama mode. And on those these cameras differ a bit. EM5 Mark III has a bit more features. It has focus stacking, it has high res mode, Pro Capture, which uh, EM10 Mark IV does not have. So it all depends what you actually need on your on your uh, trips and, and go to shooting ses sessions. Sessions, yeah, sessions. And uh, then the new feature or the new way of implementing the panorama mode on EM10 Mark IV is actually quite useful for me. So this one, I'm gonna call a tie, which my 
a bit surprise you. But if this uh, battle ends up as a tie, then I will give the whole battle winner to EM5 Mark III because of it has a lot better set of features. So this one is a tie. And remember, all these points that I give based on different criteria are my personal likings. You might value different things. What do you think would be your score if you tested both of these cameras? What you heard and watched videos about the new camera and maybe used the EM5 Mark III? Tell me in the comments down below. My score at the moment is 3 to 2 after 4 rounds. But let's get to next round. Fifth round, IBIS. In-body image stabilization. Both of these, like all OMD cameras, have a very effective IBIS. But there is a difference between these two. This one is 4.5 and this one is 5.5. And the new camera EM10 Mark IV has half a stop better than EM10 Mark III. And you might not think that uh, half a stop is, is half, half a stop is a lot, but it is. Instead of one second, you can have one and a half second uh, exposure. And if you can manage one second with this one, then you can manage two seconds with the EM5 Mark III. So this one is quite easy. EM5 Mark III takes the IBIS round. Then we have round six, the battery life. And battery life is a really important thing. And it was a bit of an issue when EM5 Mark III came to the market. It had a less battery life than EM5 Mark II. They both have the same, uh, let me check, it is, uh, I always forget the battery names, it is uh, LS50 battery. And both can be charged via USB, which is good. Only charging, not using. You need to charge and then use. You cannot charge and use at the same time, unfortunately. But the battery life is different. On EM5 Mark III, it's 310. For the new EM10 Mark IV, it's 360. I did not test this uh, personally. These are from the specs that Olympus gave us. So this one is also pretty clear. But this time it's the EM10 Mark IV that takes the round about battery life. And let's look at the score. EM5 Mark III leads by 4 to 3. So it's pretty close call, like I expected. And this round is about autofocus. There is a bit of a difference, even though the new EM10 Mark IV has the same algorithm for face, uh, for face priority and eye priority as the newest EM1 system cameras. But uh, EM5 Mark III has a lot more customizable AF settings than EM10 Mark IV. And then also EM5 Mark III is uh, both face detect and contrast detect. And this one has only contra contrast detect AF. So this one is quite simple. EM5 Mark III is the winner. But we have to remember that uh, both of these cameras have really good autofocus and on everyday shooting like uh, street photography, cityscapes, landscapes and such, you won't see a big of a, big of a difference. So this is also quite close call, but EM5 Mark III is a bit better and also the AF settings are more customizable than EM10. Mark IV. And then there's also one thing, the EM5 Mark III has the uh, small AF point, but the EM10 Mark IV does not have the small, a really small AF point. And that can be a bit uh, annoying sometimes if, if you want to uh, focus on a really close or small subject. This might go off and focus on the back. It happened to me a few times when I, test in, when I had been testing this camera. But EM5 Mark III is the winner on AF. And this round is about EVF and the LCD screen. Let's start with the EVF. The EVF on the EM5 Mark III is a bit better. You can see 100% with your glasses on, so the camera does not have to be really close to your eye and you can still see 100%. Of course, then it's a bit smaller than the EM10 Mark IV. That's actually what it feels like. EM5 Mark III has a better EVF. But then when we talk about the LCD, and I've said many times in my videos that I like the tilt screen that the EM10 Mark IV has. For vi uh, not for video, for still photography. So tilt screen is better, in my opinion, for photography. And then the LCD, uh, the articulating screen is better for video. So EVF is better on EM5 Mark III, but I like the LCD better on EM10 Mark IV. So this round is a tie. 
And then this round is about weather sealing. And yes, there is a clear difference. EM5 Mark III is weather sealed, EM10 Mark IV is not. So this is an easy call. EM5 Mark III wins this round. And then the last round before conclusion and the final score. The value for money. There is a bit of a price difference on these two cameras. This video is being made right after the EM10 Mark IV was launched. And then the announced price was 699 euros slash dollars. And I looked at the price of EM5 uh, Mark III at the moment. It was around 1000 to 1200 So it is a bit more expensive. And I would say that EM10 Mark IV is better value for money for the things that I need for a camera as a go-to camera and my travel camera. And the reasons you've been hearing on this battle video, what those are. But then if, if video is really, really important on your everyday shooting and you need really quality audio also, then of course EM5 Mark III is a lot, lot better in video. And that would decide, even though it is a bit more expensive. But I'd say that EM10 Mark IV is a bit better value for money right now with these prices. But remember, prices differ and you might get better deals on different parts of the world. So this is based on the prices that I found today when I was making this video. And before we get into the final score, a conclusion. As you saw, and probably if you counted the scores, EM5 Mark III is a better camera. And if we start talking about the video qualities, the difference is even bigger. But what about my claim that EM10 Mark IV could be my go-to and travel camera now on instead of the EM5 Mark III? How's that now that I've uh, looked at these cameras and found out that actually EM5 Mark III is a better camera, which is not or it was not a surprise that what I suspected that it will be. But EM10 Mark IV came really close and uh, still the things that I value on EM10 Mark IV are things that are more important for me when I go out and travel and go out and shoot for fun. Because this is a bit smaller package and having the 12 to 45 millimeter lens attached, I think this one is for me that's is for me a bit better combination f right now because it has those features and the improved af the improved grip and to be honest i really like the panorama mode the final score 7.5 to em5 mark 3 this one came really close and as i said i'm going to use this a lot more then I will use this one. And if you haven't seen the first impression video of EM10 Mark IV, you can find it from there. And also I have a few videos about the EM5 Mark III, which you might want to watch. It's the one playlist which is below the first impression of EM10 Mark IV. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.